Hey, how you doing? This is Orion with The Virtual Hunter. Today on this video, what I'm gonna show you is a simple method on how to process a duck. So there's really only gonna be four things you need in order to process a duck. One of the most important is gonna be a trash bag. What we're gonna do with this is we're gonna put the carcass, the feathers, and everything that we don't wanna put into the freezer in here. The second thing we're gonna need is you're gonna want a cutting board. Best bet is uh, one dedicated to meat. If not, make sure you scrub it really well. Third item you're gonna need, you're gonna need a sharp, clean knife. Make sure that you always clean your knife prior to using it. And then fourth and most importantly is going to be a duck. You can't clean duck without a duck. So what I'm gonna be using today is this is a ruddy duck. I shot it earlier today. This bird has not been dry aged and what I'm gonna show you on how to do is we're gonna breast it out. So we're gonna take the left and right breast we're gonna remove the heart and the liver. I don't personally eat those, but I'll show you how to do it. And what I use those for is for dog food. And then we're going to remove the legs as well. Uh, this is a smaller duck. It's a, it's a small duck in a uh, classification. And what I'll usually use these for is stew. You can use the legs for stock or you can use it as um, additional dog food. So you can get a lot more out of these birds than just the breasts if you don't feel like doing a whole plucking method. With this being a diver duck, I'm going to just remove the fat and the skin and take just the meat and some of the organs. So I'm going to show you my way. It's not necessarily perfect. It's not necessarily um, the best way, but it's the way I do it. And what I'm going to show you is how to remove both breasts and tenderloins, both legs, the liver, and the heart. Now the liver is kind of uh, weird. If you get any BBs or anything in the gut cavity, I won't actually keep the liver even for the dog. Um, there's a lot of bacteria, a lot of stuff can go wrong. So uh, this one was a headshot, so it should be okay. There shouldn't be any damage in the gut cavity, but always just check any of the internal organs for parasites and for damage. And if they smell funky, I personally just wouldn't risk it. Um, so first thing that I like to do is I like to come in and I like to actually pluck the feathers around the breast. You don't have to, but I find it cleans it up and it makes pulling the skin around the breast a lot easier and a lot cleaner. So all you're gonna do is make sure you have your bag and have it open in a way. And when you go to pluck the feathers, you don't wanna pull down. Um, it doesn't work very well. So you can see here, what you wanna do is you wanna grip like this and you want to pinch and pull up and you'll get a big chunk. Um, now these ducks have a lot of down feathers and they float and they're, they stay warm. So there's a lot to them, which makes plucking a whole duck kind of tedious, but it can be worthwhile. Now when I go through this, I'm not trying to pluck it completely clean. I'm not worried about these little pin feathers. What I wanna do is I wanna remove enough of the feathers that I can see my working space. So you can see here all these little tiny, they're not pin feathers, I don't think is what they're called, but all these little tiny feathers make it really hard um, and kind of annoying when you're trying to pluck a duck hole. Uh, what a lot of people will do is they'll take like paraffin wax and they'll wax it and then they'll, they'll strip it off like you would like your leg or your face or whatever. Um, and other people will take a blowtorch to it and they'll singe them off and other people just put them in the oven. Um, right here we got enough, you can see where the breastbone is here. And this is what I'm going to use for more working space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and I'm going to pinch the fat and pinch the skin here. And I'm going to make a small incision. All right. So I made a relatively small incision right here. And what I like to do is I will just go in with my fingers and thumb and I'm just going to pull 
the skin and fat back. So the reason I like to do this is it just gets, it's easy and it lets me peel it all back without risking cutting into the breast meat more than I need to. So you don't need to pull all the way up like this, uh, but I'm gonna keep that neck. Uh, I live down in Maryland and uh, people use chicken necks for crabbing. And I figure there's not much of a difference between a chicken neck and a duck neck. So you don't have to go to this extreme. I normally actually don't with how much I pull off but uh, this bird was relatively easy to peel back. So now what we have here, so this is my one breast, two breast. We got the two legs and in here is where the guts are gonna be. So I don't mess with the guts until I've done the breast. Now all I'm gonna do is on my, my dominant side here, I'm gonna come in and you should be able to see that there's this breast bone right here. Now this works for doves, this works for pheasants, this works for all birds. And what you're gonna do is I'm gonna run my knife along the bone, making contact with it the whole time until I come down here. So I'm gonna hold the bird. This is where a sharp knife comes into play. I'm just gonna make an incision. And I'm gonna come all the way down. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna cut and you're gonna hit resistance because that's part of the breastbone there. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your knife and you're gonna follow the breastplate and I'm just gonna follow it all the way down. And then what I do here is essentially the same as if I was filleting a fish or cutting out the back straps of a deer is I'm just gonna come in and remove that connective tissue. Now here what you want to do is you want to find where the neck is and where the breastbone is and you're going to follow that as close as you can to lose as little meat as possible. Boom. I'm going to cut right there. So you're going to cut, you're going to cut. So when you come to the top, what's usually going to happen is you're going to come to the top of the breast and you're going to end up hitting the wing. That's okay. Cut through on the breast to remove it. And take your time and be careful so you don't slice your finger while you remove the connective tissues. And with that, I've got one of my duck breasts. And with this being a diver duck, go ahead and trim the fat off and throw that in your trash pile. Now you've got one. Now what I do, you don't have to do this, is I actually turn the duck around so that I'm still working with it in the same way. Um, I'm not very good doing things on the opposite side. And we're gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna come through, swoop down, come all the way over, and I'm gonna do the same way as if I was filleting a fish or removing a back strap. I got one feather there. We're going to trim the fat off. By trim it, we're just going to pull it. But do it carefully. You don't want to end up ripping into the breast meat. 
And by removing the feathers and the skin layer beforehand, what ends up happening is you get less of a mess because you're not having to cut through feathers and everything and your meat's gonna be ultimately cleaner. And cleaner, better processed meat is going to have less gamey taste, which most people complain about. Clean my hand off. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back in and I'm gonna remove the legs. So what I like to do for the legs is I like to find them. And if you pinch them and just push down, you can see there that's where the, the joint broke. So once the joint breaks, all I'm gonna do is come behind it I'm going to cut. You're going to have to go around the bones that are connected to the joint. We've got some skin here still, so you're going to want to pull that back. Boom. Come in. Remove the leg, boom, and we've got a leg. Now this is a small duck, so there's not a ton of meat here. On the bigger ducks, like um, your black ducks, your mallards, all those are gonna have a sizable portion of meat there, and especially with your geese. Um, don't waste geese legs, there's a ton of meat on those things. Uh, you can make stews out of them, you can do all kinds of things. If you If you hunt rabbits or squirrels, you're getting more meat off of a goose leg than you are off of a rabbit leg or off of a squirrel leg. So just don't let them go to waste. There's a lot of meat on here besides the breasts. So now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna grab it here. We're gonna pinch it. And you'll see that bone comes right out. We'll turn it around. Where it connects, go through the joint. And we've got our second leg. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come back in and on this soft material here, this is where we're going to get the gizzard, the heart, the liver, and all I do is I make a straight incision here, boom, and now you can take the breastplate and just peel it up. And what that did is that's going to expose the heart. And I don't cut the heart, I just grab it and pull. And now I've got a duck heart. Not a lot of meat, but enough of these will end up being a lot of meat. Put that over in our pile. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in and cut the liver out here. That's half the liver. Come on to the other side. Now, if you don't have a dog or you don't want to eat these or whatever, and you catfish, you got bait right here. You got crab bait. Boom. Now we're going to grab that. Uh, you can go in and get the gizzard, but this one's pretty small, so I'm not going to mess with it. And then we're going to get the neck. And all I'm going to do with the neck is I'm going to come in here. And you don't want to just push down. You want to try to find a joint. If you can and go between it, it's easier said than done. Uh, if you can't, you can just push through. But just remember, you're gonna to need to resharpen your knife um, for any further processing if you do it that way. Right? Now, come back. Do the same thing lower. Right through. And you got yourself a chunk of crab bait, a dog treat, whatever the case is. Then all we're gonna do is we're gonna take the rest of it, we're gonna put it into our bag. Seal our bag off so no raccoons get it in the trash. And then we're gonna tie it up. All right, so that's basically how you break down a duck. This was a small duck, so it went a lot faster than normal and that skin peeled off easier than any other duck I've had. Um, but it works the same way for ducks, geese, uh, pheasants, any kind of bird. You're probably not going to take the legs or anything off of a dove, but the same deal works, right? 
it's all the same. Uh, if you do it in a different way, let me know down below. Uh, go ahead and comment. Let me know how you do it different. If you saw something that I did wrong, if you saw something that you saw that I did that you liked better, um, let me know. Also, do you prefer to break down your duck into parts or do you prefer to take your duck and pluck the whole thing and cook it as a whole duck? Uh, I'd like to hear your opinions on that. Again, I'm Orion from The Versatile Hunter. Uh, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, comment. You can also follow me on Instagram with the handle of The Versatile Hunter. And I also have a podcast that's available on almost every platform that's The Versatile Hunter as well. We drop videos almost every week uh, outside of holidays and when we can't get a guest on the show. Um, so again, thanks for following and have a great day.